Okay, 17 with our uh, Vin Diesel marathon to, to start off the year. Now, I've already gone over, you know, Pitch Black as well as Boiler Room. So I figure I'd probably knock on the other one that really kind of helps solidify him as a decent action star. That, of course, is the Fast and the Furious. You know, this is a really, really simple sort of plot line. You've got Paul Walker as the, the kind of young, somewhat hip cop trying to infiltrate a gang of, you know, thieves with impeccable skills when it comes to driving. This group, of course, is headed by, uh, by Vin Diesel. He finds that they do lots of illegal street racing and essentially help hone their craft. And then as being the, the majority of the movie, as you know, is it's fast cars, action sequences, and then minor extras between action sequences. What makes it work? Almost every car, they try to use oh, very little CGI. So most of the car chases are actual car chases. Something they decided to quit doing in the later movies. And you know, it, it made Vin Diesel as this bizarre sort of kind of like anti-hero. And it's really helped solidify the fact that if you're looking for someone who's going to play almost any sort of ethnicity role, Vin Diesel can kind of do it. Because being you know, multi-ethnic, he has the ability to kind of, you know, flow pretty easily. This also would be one of the first movies that Vin Diesel would do where he wouldn't be in the sequel. But you know, Fast and Furious, if you want to see attractive women, fast cars, action, fast cars, and then fast cars, that is Fast and the Furious. Literally, there's really nothing about it beyond that. It's, it is a, it is a, a fairly simple, you know, cop action adventure movie with a ton of car chases in it. So the title Fast and Furious actually works. Not to be confused with, I think, was it, I think, the Fast and Furious was the fourth one, and then Furious 5 is the fifth one. Did I say the fourth one? No. And someone was telling me that four takes place before three, which would be really confusing chronologically. But that is the Fast and the Furious. Car chases, car driving, illegal street racing, beating people up. You know what? There's also more car chases. And most times, you see, you know, the tricked out cars, and then towards the very end, you have that good old fashioned race between, like, a hardcore, like, American muscle car, and it's good. You know, it, it, it works as, as essentially just, just a nice, good, fun movie with lots of action to it. 